Well, today I am uh, working on a little upgrade on Dave's uh, het wrecker here. Uh, one of the issues was is on all of the recoveries, uh, usually we have to pull the cable off a long distance. So we're gonna be spooling up all the winches to the maximum and we need a way to make sure that the cable doesn't uh, come off. So this is what I'm working on right now. <laughs> yeah, there's a truck. And it's these on these big back winches. And so we get uh, a lot of cable and they'll probably be spooling more. I've made some uh, bottom uh, uh, brackets. And the idea is, is we're going to have a guide right here to make sure the cable stays on the spool. Uh, this right here is a uh, part I made from SolidWorks out of thin material just to test in order to get all the correct dimensions. And uh, Hunter is going to be working on a section here that comes out to hold the, uh, uh, the cable, similar to what we see here on the end of the boom. There'll be one of those on each of these winches here. And uh, Hunter's uh, working on that. He's got some of his brackets down there. But... This is this was my last template uh, for testing, so I am going to show you the pieces that I just cut for it, and then we will be working on assembling it for this winch and the far winch over there. So we come over here, and I have all the plates just cut out. Um, I was just cleaning up on that one. I cut them out on this machine here. This is all that was half inch. A little bit of uh, uh, tweaking uh, in the program to try to use as much uh, steel and not have as much waste, but it was really hard with all these curved pieces. So we still have material. I can cut out other pieces out of it, but uh, it makes a very uh, interesting little pattern there. So. What I will do is I'm going to get here and finish cleaning up these pieces and then uh, tack weld a, a, a couple together for uh, one side. See how it all fits together. So I got all the half inch pieces cut. Uh, I had to make uh, several of these thin ones before I finally uh, cut the thick ones because we're talking about these plates are over $1,200 a piece for a 4x8 and this thin stuff is just cheap um, the biggest issue is getting the dimensions off the winch because both winches are a little off the measurements are not exactly the same so i came across the making several of these templates before i finally came up with this template right here so let's get it all cleaned up and then we can get to starting assembling well i've got pretty much all the pieces cut uh, I cut some all thread, but what I had was just a little too short. Uh, I'll have to cut some more, but here we got a... Uh... All I had was that much. I cut it in half so at least I could use it to hold everything while I put it together. This part is removable. These will be all welded in. There's more brackets on the bottom, but... Uh... That's the design, so the spool can spin in there, and this makes sure that the cable stays within the uh, spool range. So, I got a little bit more to do. Well, I got the pieces sort of put in place, and I'm gonna have to tack weld them in, check it, and then weld it in. So, what we got that'll have to be welded but what I'm gonna do is it'll just be a couple tacks and then I'll pull it off of here and finish welding it down to the ground
que brinque como... Well, I figured I'd show some uh, bonus footage. There's not too much for the cut V uh, as far as the painting, but uh, just show you some things that's been going on here at work. Here's that het wrecker. Done a lot of work to it. Uh, one of the things I've done is I've uh, built these uh, cable guides. Well, it's not really a guide, but it's, a, it's to keep the cables inside the uh, on the winch drum. And uh, because we found that uh, when we were using them the last time, that they were, uh, cable was coming off the sides. So, and these tensioners would sometimes slide to the left, as you can see on the other one right there. Uh, this thing right here would tend to, when the cable would get bound up, would slide off. So now it's forced to ride on the inside. So, Designed that on SolidWorks and fabbed it up on both of them. Oh. And then uh, been doing some other work. We've been putting on some new uh, cable onto it. That's what the old cable was like and this was new. There was 150 feet on it but We've managed to force about 250 and I mean we've really packed it full. I'm going to probably have to deal with something to make sure the cable doesn't come off of these two winches. That's if we keep that much cable on it. I also then had to work to see about getting the uh, the, tent, the uh, uh, drum free spool working. There's this ram, that ram was froze up, there's a lever. I got it operating with the uh, the pneumatics, but that ram is just not powerful enough. It's if this thing is running perfectly smooth, it will do it. But with just a little bit of a bind, the ram doesn't want to fully engage or disengage. So I will probably have to order a little larger ram that can put uh, probably twice the pressure. These are like some really old winches. I'm gonna hop down and show some more. As you can see, uh, we've pretty much got it all back together. Uh, Hunter's working on uh, a system here for the uh, the cable to come out like these up here. So, uh, and with all that there, it's not very easy to be able to keep the cable uh, from jumping in case uh, it uh, loosens up or whatever. And that's why I built those two. Uh, 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 you know cages for the uh, cable there and I had to put all the controls in so this is for this switch here will engage the tensioner for this this engages the tensioner to the far uh, 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 winch and this switch uh, provides air to these three switches otherwise when it's in this position there's no air going to these switches in this way there's air going to it. And the reason for this, that's gonna be a safety switch and there's gonna be some lockouts for that, is that these three are for free spool. Uh, this will free spool this winch, this will free spool the follow other winch, and then this free spools that back winch that I told you that the ram doesn't quite work very well. Because what these are is uh, 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 two directional controls, so basically, if when it's in this position, it forces air to engage. You push it this way, it forces air to disengage. But these switches only work once you have air on it. So uh, uh, with this off, whatever the winches are will be left in whatever their last position was, whether it was engaged or disengaged for free spool or not. So that's like a safety. So if you don't want to accidentally bump a button or something, uh, and change it from engage to free spool uh, uh, you'd have to have this engage there and 
these were the switches here this was the high idle control for the machine and this was just for fun this is you push it there's a horn well not really for fun it's also for signaling if you need to signal somebody you can push that and then this is switch makes it so that the two rear winches will go at double speed so you got like normal speed or slow speed then fast speed so we've got them all working i this one handles both winches as soon as i can find another switch i'll put another switch in here probably move the switch down here so you can control the back winch's speed independently so we seem to have gotten everything put back down pretty good bent it all back might things might be off just slightly uh, and uh dave wanted a uh, uh uh to be able to have uh towing trailers so i welded in a uh a three inch uh hitch assembly and this is just resting on top of it right there so this is one of the new uh cables and that's the old cable just looking at our new cable doesn't seem to be as heavy duty as the old cable that might be an issue so and i i hear some noise from over there i'm just gonna figure out what's going on and i'll get back to you Ah, it's Hunter and he's working late and he's working on the uh, assembly for the hold the cable in place. So, he's here working late, having a good time there. As soon as he stops welding, I'm going to say good night and bye bye. So, Hey Hunter, I'm heading home. I'll Hello. see you later. <laughs> Alan's favorite thing to do is bother me when I'm welding. I waited for you to, to finish before I said anything. So well, you're I'm showing my welds. I'm stacking quarters over here. What? Years will appreciate that. <clears throat> yeah. This ain't going nowhere. Oh, I hope it's going on the head. It's going on the head. After <laughs> that, it's not going anywhere. Ah, that's good. Yeah. That's how so, it's done, Alan. Yeah, he's got this, he designed this all on solid works too. But uh, since he wasn't using plate, he you can't just use the machine to cut it. You gotta do a lot of it by hand. Mm -hmm. So totally awesome. Thank you, Alan. Actually totally wizard. Oh there it goes. <laughs> all right, you have a good night. You too. All right. Hunter's a great guy. <laughs>